Saw released on October 29th, 2004 in the US following an October 1st release in the UK. It originally premiered at Sundance the previous January where Lionsgate obtained distribution rights. Initially planned as a direct-to-video release, Lionsgate changed their minds after the reception at Sundance. Made on a budget of about $1 million, the film would gross over $18 million its opening weekend and $103 million worldwide. It would go on to spawn nine sequels, as well as video games, comic books, and even theme park attractions. The film centers around two of its main characters, Adam and Dr. Lawrence Gordon, who awaken to find themselves trapped in a dark room chained to pipes. As the film progresses, we learn that they were abducted and left here by a serial killer known as Jigsaw who places his victims in elaborate traps, forcing them to perform brutal tasks in order to escape. Let's take a look at each of the traps in this first film and rank them based on brutality and creativity. Please consider liking and subscribing. The drill chair comes in at number 6 because it didn't kill anyone and the find the key solution isn't very creative though it's not immediately clear how the full trap or puzzle would work. This design finds a victim strapped into a chair with their head immobilized by a metal collar. Once triggered, drills on either side would begin moving toward the victim's head, drilling into them after 20 seconds. It's unclear whether or not this is the final layout of the trap, or if the keys and trigger are just in this position for testing. Given the unknowns and the fact that it didn't kill anyone, this trap is disqualified from scoring and comes in last place. In the number 5 spot is the Shotgun Hallway. This trap consisted of several shotguns hanging from the ceiling and rigged to fire when a tripwire is triggered. Unfortunately, Detective Singh fell victim to this trap while chasing Jigsaw. Compared to the other traps in the movie, it's extremely quick and merciful, killing Detective Singh instantly. Because of that, it nets a score of Brutality 6 and Creativity 1. The Razor Wire Maze ranks number 4 on this list. A victim is placed inside a cage filled with razor wire and they need to find their way to the exit in 2 hours. Though the 2 hour time limit sounds generous, even slightly grazing razor wire will cause it to stick to your clothing or skin, forcing you to move slowly and carefully. As time ran down, panic and the need to hurry would cause further injuries as we saw happen to Paul, the victim. The movie says that he cut into his femoral artery as well as deep enough into his stomach that acid was found on the floor, indicating that he was likely in a panicked rush by the time he died. Not only is the razor wire dangerous, but failing to get out of the maze in time would leave you trapped in the room to die slowly over a period of days as the exit door was connected to a timer and would shut after 2 hours. This trap scores a 4 for brutality and 3 for creativity. Next we come to the reverse bear trap. Here the victim awakens to find a large metal device attached to their head and neck. This device is triggered by a timer and once activated, the victim has 60 seconds to locate a key to release the trap, which is buried in the stomach of another person. Once time expires, the trap violently springs open, tearing apart the jaw. The real brutality here is that while the trap will cause devastating facial injury, it may not actually kill you, and instead leave you in agonizing pain. As seen in the film, the trap has a limited range of motion, so while it might do a lot of damage, whether or not it would kill you seems to depend on how much blood loss it would cause. There are real-world cases of people surviving the loss of their lower jaw and going on to live for years afterward. It would be curious to see how Jigsaw would respond if the trap had gone off but failed to kill Amanda. Final score for the reverse bear trap, Brutality 7.5, Creativity 5. At number 2 is the flammable jelly trap. Here the victim has been poisoned and is challenged to find the combination to a safe containing the antidote. The room is dark and the only light is provided by a small candle while the victim is also covered head to toe in a flammable jelly. The combination is written somewhere on one of the walls, all of which are covered in numbers. This trap would be an absolute nightmare and seems to be almost completely unwinnable. As if the threat of immolation wasn't enough, the broken glass on the floor would make every step to finding the combination excruciating as the victim is stripped naked. Though it would be an awful way to die, it would hopefully be relatively quick. 
Final score, Brutality, 8.5, Creativity, 5. Finally, The Bathroom claims the top spot for being both extremely creative as well as brutal. It contains a number of puzzle elements that encourage the two victims to work together with the ultimate goal of one killing the other. Victims Adam and Dr. Lawrence Gordon find themselves chained to pipes in a dark room and over the course of the 8 hour time limit, they both go through a variety of emotions as they slowly uncover the reasons why they were selected and work to free themselves. Both victims uncover a number of clues, some of which they share and others they try to keep secret. At first, they are hesitantly cooperative, then distrustful of each other, downright hostile, and finally the two bond as Dr. Lawrence attempts to leave and get help. Adam is shot and Dr. Lawrence ends up cutting off his own foot in order to escape, giving this trap a brutality rating of 9 and creativity 10. The reveal that Jigsaw was actually in the room the entire time adds salt to the wound as he leaves Adam to die alone in the dark. Let me know what you thought of the traps in Saw and whether you agree or disagree with this list. Thanks for watching.